So the more I go through the Brothers War card gallery, the more cards I'm finding I want to end my opponent's suffering with. You know what I mean? So I went through and picked out three cards I'm most excited for in Commander in each rarity. So up first, Commons, baby. I've seen this card talked about a lot, so I figured I might as well talk about it again. Bitter Reunion is a thrill of possibility with the added bonus of being able to enable late game haste. Urza's and Mishra's Peace Summit didn't go as planned, but that's what happens when you get a couple dumb science bitches. Overwhelming remorse is what I felt when I didn't go to my girlfriend's place back in middle school to watch movies. Stupid, stupid. Anyway. Overwhelming Remorse went under my radar on the first look through this set, but geez, four and a black to exile target creature card or planeswalker card, and this thing costs one less for each creature card in your graveyard. This is Black's Path to Exile. I don't care what you say, don't at me. In certain decks. Like my Sadisi. Wasteful Harvest is what happens when your friend says he can one puff a J in one toke and drops it in a puddle. No? Not relatable? Seems like a ton of value in green at instant speed. Two and a green for an instant, mill five cards. You may return a permanent from among them into your hand. In any graveyard deck, Think Mimeoplasm, Moldratha, Sadisi. This thing's insane. Or in any Lands Matter deck, this seems pretty good, like Windgrace or Titania. Gruesome Realization is up first in the Uncommon section. Gruesome Realization is a sign in blood for one more mana that has the alternative option of wiping all 1-1s one off the board, sorcery speed. And for one more mana, I definitely consider running this as an alternative to sign in blood. Uh, Symmetry Matrix. This is one that I was excited about really early on. Four colorless for an artifact. Whenever a creature with power equal to its toughness enters the battlefield under your control, you may pay one. If you do, draw a card. Uh, think Shorkai. Any commander that creates tokens under its control that's power and toughness are equal uh that you just get a ton of value it seems like off this speaking of cards that make tokens whose power and toughness are equal third path iconoclast gives spell slinger decks exactly what they need they give them one one colorless soldier artifact creature tokens whenever they play non-creature spells this thing's going to give you tons of bodies on the board you know let the bodies hit the board type shit young pyromancer 2.0 type shit pretty good moving on to rare tokasha's welcome is such a good one Two and a white for an enchantment. Whenever one or more creatures with mana value three or less enters the battlefield under your control, draw a card. This ability can only trigger once a turn. Yeah, 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 of course it can. This is an extremely consistent card draw in white. Again, if your commander creates small tokens, this seems like a no-brainer. So here's looking at you, Rise, and again, Shorkai. Perennial Behemoth is what I call the six foot seven guy down the hall that keeps asking me for rent. Whatever the fuck that is. Anyway, it's five for a two seven artifact creature. You may play lands from your graveyard and it has on earth for two green. So this thing's just a crucible of worlds on a very good blocker that you can bring back if somebody deals with it. If, if you're in any lands matter decks, again, like wind grace, this is probably going in it. Gixian Puppeteer is three and a black for a four three Phyrexian Warlock. Ooh. Whenever you draw your second card each turn, your opponents each lose two life and you gain two life. Uh, not very hard to do in black to draw your second card. And when Gixian Puppeteer dies, return target creature card with mana value three or less from your graveyard to the battlefield. This thing's pretty solid. It's got a pretty decent reanimator trigger on it when it dies. You drain everybody at the table when you draw your second card and put yourself up two and all them down two, which will put you ahead pretty freaking fast. And for four mana, I actually really like this card, especially played side by side with like Phyrexian Arena. It seems really good. Okay, so up first in the Mythics is Awaken the Wood. Huh. Okay. Well, there goes that idea for a strip club name. Awaken the Wood is X and two green for a sorcery. Create X one one green forest dryad land creature tokens. Yeah, they're affected by summoning sickness, sure. But the most important part isn't that they're able to attack. It's the fact that they're lands. So these will all trigger landfall abilities. They'll all tap for mana and they will all alter the amount of lands in play cards that are in play. But at the end of the day, they also are a ton of 1-1 bodies that are on the board, which you could have worse things. Next up is Platoon Dispenser. I'll, uh... I'll let you guys make a joke off that one, you dirty dogs. For five colorless, it's a four six. At the beginning of your end step, if you control two or more other creatures, draw a card. Pretty solid damn card in white. Pay three, create a white one one colorless soldier artifact creature token, and then if anyone has an answer for this thing, it's also got unearth for two and two white. This actually seems like one of the top card draw engines in white that exists. I kind of stand by this. This thing seems insane. I think this is one of my new favorite cards. And lastly, a community favorite, Portal of Phyrexia, is nine colorless for an artifact. When Portal of Phyrexia enters the battlefield, each opponent sacrifices three creatures. At the beginning of your upkeep, put target creature card from a graveyard into the battlefield under your control. It's a Phyrexian in addition to its other types. If you can resolve this thing or it's cheated into play like mid game and you get a full rotation in, you're going to get an insane amount of value out of this thing. That's an immediate take off the table table card something out of anyone's graveyard and commander each of your upkeeps like you know everyone's gonna have some pretty good stuff in there hey thanks for checking out the video guys i'm live mondays thursdays and saturdays at 6 p.m so check it out and make sure to subscribe we are extremely close to a thousand much love guys and go play some magic as per usual